Hi, I have a question for you. How often do you pray? Just take a moment and think about it. How often do you pray? Think of it in the course of the day, in the course of the week, course of the month, and maybe even the course of the year. How often do you pray? I think in answering that question, for many of us, we will probably comfortably say we pray on special occasions. And when I say special occasions, I mean moments like when there's a church service, it, we've been called to go pray. And so we pray. Special occasions could mean beginning of the year. Many local churches do a special time of prayer to launch the year. And maybe you are fasting and praying. Some do what they call the Daniel fast and you know, kinds of fasting is done. And you pray and maybe you commit and you are very happy that you attended the 21 days or so many days that you were praying. Uh, maybe it's a special occasion and the occasion is there is a specific need that is pressing you down. You need God to come through for you and so you will engage in prayer. I remember a dear brother, his wife was sick in the hospital, she was dying in the hospital. I remember seeing him coming to the church to pray. He was praying and I'm sure he was praying and fasting. Just praying, so this, he had this special time of prayer, prolonged time. He spent hours just calling upon the Lord for his dear wife. The unfortunate thing, she probably later, she later died. But he engaged in prayer for that special occasion. Maybe you need a breakthrough, you need an answer to prayer. You know, there's something that you need God to do. It's something that... Maybe you're at a crossroad, you are looking for a wife or a husband. And so you engage in this special time of prayer. But let me ask the question again, how often do you pray? Uh, many of us pray for our food. I'm sure, you know, at least you do that. Or maybe when you remember. And many times when we pray for our food, the prayer is, is simple. I can even tell you, some of you, the prayer you pray. This is it. Lord bless our food in Jesus' name. Amen. And you are done. And for some, you know, we have this memorized prayer. And so as we can say it without thinking, without heart, and without passion. How often do you pray? For some, you know, we pray today. Maybe tomorrow you forget. Three days later, you remember, ah, I haven't been praying. And so you, you pray. For some of us, we pray when it is convenient because you are not busy. You have a bit of time to dedicate to a time of prayer. So how often do you pray? But I want to maybe ask another question. And the question is, how often should you pray? How often should you pray? And I think in answering that question, I'm going to let the scripture answer that question. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17. It's a very short verse. And the Bible says, pray at all times. You read another version, it says, never stop praying. I will also read the further version, which says, pray at all times. Never, never stop praying. Uh, scripture, pray const constantly. You know, so this is not something that I do at special occasion, but this is actually a way of life. So how do you see your prayer life? Is it something you engage in at special occasion, or is it a way of life? This is on your agenda. It is on your daily agenda. This is how scripture puts it. Pray constantly. Pray persistently. In that constant, you are persistent doing this without stopping. And this is really what should happen. Prayer is a spiritual discipline. We are called to be men and women of prayer. See, prayer isn't a calling for a chosen few. You know, they call themselves all kinds of names. Some will say, no, I'm an intercessor and almost trying to allude to you are not. I am called to be, but prayer is a calling for every believer. It is a ministry that we must engage in, all of us who are in Christ Jesus, must pray 
constantly, must pray without stopping, must pray without ceasing. That's the command of scripture. So how often should you pray? Pray at all times. Pray cost consistently. Pray without stopping. You know, a good example of this kind of praying is Daniel. Daniel had a commitment. He committed himself to pray three times a day. And he never compromised that schedule. Never did. He prayed three times a day. That was his commitment. And I pray that you will get into a, a routine, a schedule. You put a schedule of prayer that cannot be compromised, cannot be bro easily broken or changed by, by a phone call, any, anything that is a distraction. Because it's a, it's a command. Pray consistently. Every man, every woman who's done great things for God have had a consistent prayer life where they engage in prayer, not just fast, fast kind of prayers. You know, I call them popcorn prayers. You know how popcorns, you put them in a pot and they are, you know, but they, they spend time with God. So they are praying to hear from God. They are praying to present requests. They are praying on behalf of others they are praying so that the will of God is done on the earth as it is in heaven. So there's that commitment. You are involved in God's agenda on the earth. So you are not just praying, presenting your needs and your, your, your I need clothes, I need this. But you are, you are involved as a strategic partner in God's agenda where you pray every day so that God's will is done on earth. You are praying for the mission field, people that are preaching the gospel, people that are going, people that are involved in sharing the good news. You are praying for persecuted believers. There are many countries that are, uh, you know, are persecuting believers, many of our brothers and sisters are in distress. And they need us to rise up and pray. They should be on our prayer, in our prayer program where we pray for, for them because we are committed to this ministry of prayer. It is a calling, it is a command, pray at all times. And so as you think about prayer, I want you to think about your own prayer life. Think about how often you pray, but maybe start thinking about how often you should pray and start making changes. Learn from men like Daniel, from like Jesus. Jesus often withdrew himself from ministry, from being the front line. He withdrew himself and went to talk to the Father. It's no wonder Jesus knew things, he could hear things, and he could do great things. I have a feeling that God will use you to do great things as you engage in constant prayer, as you pray at all times. So have a great day as you engage in prayer, but go think about your prayer and answer the question, how often do I pray? But maybe, Go further and ask yourself, how often should I pray? And write down how often you should pray and commit to doing it in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening.